Most High, you are the Holy One of Israel and the Mighty One of Jacob. Father, I come before your fiery altar and I ask that you release to the people a prophetic paradigm of destiny. Because Most High, in this age and in this time, in this cycle of right now, Most High, there's people that have lost their way. They've lost their roadmap. They've lost their blueprint. They've lost their highest eternal purpose, Most High. There's people that are questioning you about their reason to exist. There's brothers and sisters sons and daughters out there, Father, that are seeking you most high to understand your intention for their life, to understand the experiences that they've had, to understand why they exist and what's next for them most high. So for those brothers and sisters that would listen to this video that I've been asking you, Father, what is next for them? What is next in their life? Father, I pray that you answer them and give them a prophetic paradigm of destiny. Father, please give them explicit instructions on what they are to do next. Show them most high through dreams, through visions, through the voice of the Holy Spirit, through confirmation of the voice of others. Show them the way most high. Show them what's next right now. Let them see their next now. Let them no longer be in the dark, Father, about their future or about their destiny. Let them no longer be in the jungles and forests of confusion about what it is that you would have for them to do. Most High, please erase the database of failure, the database of doubt, the database of loss, the database of cycles of trauma, all those databases and data sets that they have in their mind, Most High, that the enemy has tried to keep attached to them. Please delete those files so that in their mind, Most High, they no longer have attachments to that, but you release them into a new prophetic paradigm of destiny to where they see their new version of themselves, but they see it in you. Most High, please let your presence be like clear water as they look into your perfect high image image, Father, that they would see your image in their image and therefore see a greater future that, I, that they haven't been able to see before, Most High, for them to be able to detangle all of the negative words that have been spoken to them by people that they look to for authority and love, Father. People that they look to for authority and love that spoke to them curses and words of ill will and spells of destruction, Father. Please let them detangle all those spells of destruction that have been spoken over them and release them into a new prophetic paradigm of destiny so they can get through the forest, so they can get through the jungle, so they can clear a path, Father, to escape from the mind matrix, the mind matrix of lies, the mind matrix of delusion and deception, the mind matrix of society that tries to make them feel less than and see themselves as less than. Open them up, Father, to see that you are the Elohim in whom all is possible. You are not the one to be limited. In your scripture, you say, don't limit the Holy One of Israel. So, Father, as this new prophetic paradigm of destiny is released to the people that would listen to this, let the scales fall from their eyes so that they can see the limitless possibilities in you. Most High, please give them visionary plans, just like you did to Noah. Not only did you give Noah prophecy, but you also gave Noah strategy. You let Noah know what was going to happen in the earth, that it would, it would rain. And after that, you gave him instruction and strategy on how to build the boat. You gave him the resources to build the boat. Most High, you are not an Elohim who just gives prophecy, but don't give any instruction or strategy. So, Father, as you reveal to the brothers and sisters, the sons and daughters that would hear this, what the new prophetic paradigm of destiny is for them, treat them like Noah, Father, to where you give them the resources for them to be able to fulfill that, Father, and also give them the instruction on how to execute that. Let them no longer be in the darkness on the how-tos. Give them the whys, the whats, and the hows, Most High in this time right now so that they be freed from the cycles of bondage so that they be freed from the cycles of the mind matrix so that they be freed from the cycles of negative spells of destruction spoken on them and they break free from it just like a newborn child breaking out of the matrix of the womb let them break out of this matrix this demonic matrix this demonic matrix of babylon most high that is like a spider's web a dark web of deception let them break through it most high cause them to be a visionary like Noah, cause them to be revolutionary and visionary, that they take action on what it is that you show them in this prophetic paradigm of destiny that you release to them. Most High, you are an Elohim who is the best of planners. 
The scripture says that before the foundations of the world, the lamb that was slain, before you laid the foundations of the world and said, let there be, Father, you had already laid your eternal plans because you are the one who has always existed, which causes existence. So you are the greatest of planners, most high. Anything that you do, you are able, Father, to make a way for your will to come to pass. There's nothing that can cripple your will from coming to pass. There is no crippling of your plans. There is no destruction of your ways, Father. Your ways are the ancient paths that lead to the eternal future. So, Father, speak to these brothers and sisters and these sons and daughters. Show them the way to your eternal future. Show them the way to your prophetic plan unfolding in their personal life. Father, they read your scriptures and they know your prophetic plan for the world. They know about the end times. They know about the judgment on the wicked. They know about the return of your son. Father, but please speak to them about their personal prophecies, the personal prophetic plan that you have for their personal soul in their personal life. Just like you have a prophetic plan for the world and the nations most high, please release the prophetic paradigm of destiny to the brothers and sisters and sons and daughters that would listen to this to show them the prophetic plan you have for their life, them individually, Father. Because you have a prophetic plan for them individually, for their household, for their mind, for their skill sets, for what you placed in their hand, just like your prophetic plan for all the nations will come to pass and your son will return and the kingdom will be set up on this earth. Just like all those things will happen, please cause the prophecies that you foretold over these brothers and sisters to also happen. Let the plans of the Most High not be aborted, but let them advance. Let the plans of the Most High advance and accelerate and not be aborted. We come against any spirit of destiny abortion where the enemy would try to destroy the paradigm of destiny before it takes shape. Most high, you are the Elohim who told Jeremiah that before you formed him in the womb, you knew him. The same with these brothers and sisters, these sons and daughters of you, father. You knew them before you formed them in the womb. So surely you will not allow the enemy to make your plans not prosper. All of your plans prosper, father, because you are the best of planners. Most high, you are the Elohim who has created the model of all eternity, the invisible and the visible. Father, so please show us the image that we're supposed to be shaping into. Give us images, Father. Let us see what it is that you would have us to be. Please imprint the, those models and visions on our mind. Just like an architect, whenever they get ready to build a project, they have to see the image of it. They have to 3D print out a model so they can see the model and then that gives them more enthusiasm about what is before them. So Father, please, in your word, just like you promised in the scripture, you would show dreams and visions in these last days. So let these brothers and sisters and sons and daughters see true visions, a model of things to come. Show them a model of things to come that they can always look at for inspiration so that they can always look at to remind them of what's before them that they can always look at because the more they stare at it, they will be shaping into that image. Not like the wicked who stare at idols. We are the righteous who always look to, towards your throne, Father. Let us always look to your presence so that when we look at your presence, we can become just like you, a model of what is in the heavenlies. Just like you told Moses, to create the tabernacle and the sanctuary after the pattern of what you showed him in the mountain. So Father, we ask that you take us up to the mountain. Take us up in revelation. Take us up in vision. Take us up in prayer. Take us up so we can also see the pattern for our life and the model of what it is that you want to manifest through us. Let us see it so we can touch it and obtain it most high. Make it real to us. Make all these kingdom manifestations real to us. Make all this kingdom wealth real to us. Make all this kingdom power real to us. Let it not just be something that we talk about, but let it be a demonstration that we put down that's undeniable. Cause us to walk in a spirit of being undefeated because we are shaped in the model of he who is undefeated. Let us walk in the spirit of dominance because we are shaping in the model of he who is dominant. As we see you, Father, let us become like you the more we behold you. 
Father, please project onto us your mind, project onto us your spirit. Just like the scripture said that your countenance is brighter than the sun. Flesh cannot dwell in your presence, Father. So all we can do is just receive that light of glory. So, Father, please shine that light upon our countenance. Just like the Levite priests, whenever they would bless the people, they would pray. Most high, lift up your countenance upon us and give us peace. So, Father, we ask that you lift your countenance up upon the brothers and sisters and sons and daughters that would listen to this message. Lift your countenance up and cause their countenance to be lifted up. Those right now that are dealing with situations that's causing their shoulders to slump, their head to hang low. Father, please lift up their countenance. Let their countenance be lifted up. Give them good news, Father. Let good news come from somewhere for them today. Let surprise blessings come for them, Father, that would cause their shoulders to be lifted up, their head to be lifted up so that their countenance would not be sunken because you've lifted up your light upon them, Most High, in this hour. I'm talking about a prophetic paradigm of destiny that will lift up the countenance of those who have been downfallen, that will lift up the countenance of those that have been depressed, that will lift up the countenance of those that's tired of receiving bad news. Let them receive good news, Most High. All of the schemes of the enemy, let them be exposed. All of the schemes of the enemy pertaining to everything in this world and in the world to come. All the schemes and devices of the enemy cause them to be exposed by your Holy Spirit fire. Cause them to be exposed by the arrows of fire. Cause them to be exposed by the sword of the Spirit most high. All things pertaining to your will, let all of your devices and all of your enterprises prosper. Let all of your plans prosper. But all of the schemes and devices of the kingdom of darkness, let them not prosper. Let them be confused and fight amongst each other and never be able to rally against the righteous. All the wicked that that are trying to form confederacies and rally against the righteous. Let all their rallies be canceled. Let all their riots be canceled. Let all of their meetings and gatherings and conferences be canceled. Cause them to stumble and fall and make the righteous be able to see the enemy stumble and fall most high. Let us dance upon the necks of the wicked until blood flows forth, Father. Let us wash our feet in the blood of the wicked like King, like King David said, Father. Let us always have a prospect and a potential for increase in these times when the enemy is trying to close up opportunities for people most high just like you gave uh, Abraham the ram in the bush whenever he was going to do the sacrifice and they sacrificed the ram let us always have a prospect let us always have a prospect for a stream of income let us always have a prospect for uh, loving holy righteous relationships where we get edification and we give edification let us always have a prospect for ministry and business let us not be lacking ever in ministry or business or relationship or love let us always have a prospect most high to get a word from you. Let us never lack prospects. Let us never lack access or options. Let us always be able to reach out and touch resources and opportunities. Let us never be limited because the Holy One of Israel, you are not limited, Most High. In this day and hour, Father, please release to the people this prophetic paradigm of destiny, even as I pray. Release it to your bloodline, Father. Release it to your set-apart people. Release it to the Gentiles that cling on to the Messiah, through faith, Most High, release it to the body of Hamashiach. Release it to those who worship you in spirit and in truth. For, to all four corners of the earth, wherever they may be listening to this prayer, release to them a prophetic paradigm of destiny to cause them to awaken to their higher eternal purpose, to no longer be in the lower realms, but to be in the higher realms. Cause them to awaken from being low base and common to being uncommon, to being exceptional, to do exploits, to be that mighty generation of righteous generals in these last days that are the new Samsons, the new Gideons, the new Abrahams, to be the new Bible characters, to be the new legends, the new icons, the new immortals with your name written upon their forehead. Those who overcome the dragon, those who overcome the beast, those who overcome all of the end times deceptions and the strong delusion, those who overcome the armies of the anti-Messiah, those who overcome the plagues, those who overcome the diseases, those who overcome 
overcome all of the enchantments and potions of Jezebel, those who overcome all the doctrines of Balaam, those who overcome their own flesh and their own temptations and their own addictions, those who are the over overcomers, Father, bring them forth. Let, th let that man come. Let that woman come who is the overcomer, Most High, because we are the ones who truly worship you in spirit and in truth, Father. You give us the roadmap to destiny. You give us the roadmap to revelation, and we run on that path and our feet don't stumble. Please give us the wings of angels to move with speed and to execute your will in the earth with perfection. Crown us with the spirit of excellence so that whatever we do for your namesake, we do it to the highest glory and it earns the honor and respect of angels and of men. Let this prayer of victory, success, and destiny and the releasing of prophetic paradigms of destiny come forth now, so be it in this earth, in this life, and in the life to come. For all those who are called by the true name of Amashiach, let them stand up, let them stand forth, and let them do the work of the mighty Elohim and to do it with victory, success, and destiny. So be it.